goes top of season. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's talk about Fido today. Today we're going to go top of Roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's last what? Radio. <laughs> Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud Radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What? <laughs> hey, Kevin, do you want some lasagna? Basically like a barrel. I made lasagna. What? I made lasagna. Who's Tanya? What? What? Kevin! Do you want some lasagna? You stepped in what? 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 I made lasagna! Tomorrow is my What? I'm probably the last person that will admit this, but man, that sun is going down quick every day. Fall is in the air, and that means it is lighting season. Man, it's all about lighting this month. This is the month where you get to get all those trucks and cars and vehicles in the shop and upgrade their lighting systems. And this is perfect timing for our guest today. Hey, welcome to CMA Connected presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. And on this lunchtime learning session, we've got one of the best in the game car lighting district in the house, no stranger to the lighting market, but they recently hinted at a new product in their lineup, which uh, they're definitely going to share some more details with us today. Thanks for tuning in because today is all about car lighting district lighting. So on that note, let's uh, go and get our resident specialist from CLD in the house. We know him as Dr. LED. His name is Frank. Let's get him in the studio. What's going on, Frank? Hey, Ben, how's it going? Um, it's going, man. You know, fall is here. That sun, like I said, is going down and it, yep. it's getting pretty dark. I live out here in the country and, you know, the first thing I start thinking about is, ah, oh, man, I got to upgrade my lighting system. So this is great timing to be talking about what we're talking about today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having us, Ben. Today, we're going to talk about the new lineup, the new line of products that Car Lighting District is bringing out for this season. Um, we call it the Strix. Strix is going to be a line of products, not just, uh, headlights or not just something else um considering our, our previous uh names like helios or kong was strictly mm -hmm. for one specific application or applications like he headlights and fog lights the strix family of products is going to bring in headlights and high powered led backup lights which mm. are basically as strong as fog lights but for the reverse so it's, it's a really new product that we're bringing in this season and we're very excited to, to watch this. Well, I'll tell you, I, for one, am excited to hear all the details about it. I'm sure our dealers that will be watching this are will be excited too, because new product is always good to know. And it sounds very interesting. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, for those maybe tuning in for the first time or maybe hearing about CLD for the first time, let's take a step back and kind of lay out, you know, what exactly is uh, the offering from CLD and, and where are you guys based? Um, I, know, I know you guys are part of the Tiber group out of, based out of Montreal, but with distribution everywhere. Absolutely. Um, give us in one minute, CLD, what you guys about, how long you've been here. All right. Car Lighting District's been around since 2016. We specialize in uh, LED headlight bulbs as well as LED replacement bulbs for any applications of the vehicle. Um, our main bestseller is the Helios LED conversion kit, uh, strictly for projector headlights. And then we got the Kongs, the G7s, and the Blitz as well for other applications as well as fog lights and, and headlights. And um, that's pretty much it in one minute real quick. And the reason we call him Dr. LED is if you, unless you're not on any social media, which I doubt any of our customers are or viewers are, uh, CLD has done a tremendous job with their social media with informational videos. You can find yes. off their Facebook page and their YouTube. Just oh, yes. uh, check out Car Lighting District on, on Facebook and you'll, you're going to see Dr. LED pop up a lot. We a have lot. multiple videos on YouTube, especially explaining all different subjects about LED bulbs and, he and, and headlights on vehicles itself. And, uh, a lot of a lot of things can be learned by watching these videos. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you guys do a great job with that. So congrats to you and the team. Thank you um, so uh, CLD, for those who don't know, Car Lighting District, let's talk about you. You dropped a couple uh, names of different series that you currently offer in your line. Let's just mm -hmm. take a minute to kind of go over what the catalog is so that the dealers tuning in understand that we are dealing with a complete offering from CLD. 
Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, Benny. Kate. Well, our previous products that we had on the market before this uh, this season coming up, uh, we had the Helios, which is our first um, car lighting district unique line of headlight bulbs, LED headlight bulbs, which are mainly for projector headlights, the way it's fabricated, 12,000 lumens, very bright. Then we got the Kong conversion kits, which are the Kong includes no moving parts, which is great for fog lights. We use them for headlights as well, different applications of headlights. And we got the entry-level Blitz conversion kit, which is like the Helios, made for headlights only. There's a moving fan for the heat dissipation system. It's our entry-level kit, but not to be mistaken with uh, a lower quality product. It really is top of the line, just like our other products. We just have um, less of a lumen count and a smaller warranty on it, which is why we call it our entry-level conversion kit. And we got the older G7 series, which we still keep for certain fog light and headlight, special headlight applications. Um, but that is uh, that is definitely going to be eventually transitioned to something else. But we still have those for certain applications. So, I mean, it sounds to me you have, um, like you said, you have the entry level blitz, which, of course, you're going to sacrifice a little bit on the performance for the in the interest of a, a, a savings on the price. Exactly. Um, but tons of applications for that. Uh, again, oh, yeah. fan cooling, just to re review what you just said. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kong is no moving parts. That's interesting. So no fan. Uh, these, these are like integrated heat sinks. Exactly. Um, we call it our really heavy duty conversion kit, which is great for ATVs, side by sides, tractors, snowmobiles, snow plows, anything like that, that could have like snow, dirt, dust, sand, like clog. I mean, if you had a fan based heat sink, it would get clogged. But right. in the case of the Kong, with no zero maintenance, parts, zero exactly, maintenance. exactly. Mm -hmm. It's very heavy duty. Um, so it's great for all these applications where uh, you may get some uh, some debris up in there. Absolutely. And Helio is probably the best seller. It's the go to. It's the all in one. Oh, yeah. It's high performance, ultra bright. Um, and I have to one mention. That's... Yeah. Go ahead. Me, ben. I have to mention that the Helios, the Kong, both feature lifetime warranties ah. on the kits. The Blitz is a two year warranty as long uh, as well with the G7 as well. A two year warranty. Fair enough. So if yeah. you, you know, if in the interest of cost savings, you can have that entry level product in your shops. Offers a two year, which is still a great warranty on you know on light bulbs, but then you want to show them the better stuff, which is you know the the Kong and the uh, Helios, which offers a lifetime warranty. Exactly. And I sh we should also mention that uh, um, you also offer all the different interior type of bulbs and that type of stuff as well, right? Right, right, right. All these different bulbs, like thirty one fifty sevens, eleven fifty six, seven four four Os, the T tens and nine twenty ones. All these we we have on on hand. Um, and certain bulbs we have in different colors, red or amber for tail light applications, turn signal applications, and if not, all the other bulbs come in white as well. Perfect. Yeah. So this leads us to the story of today. So you, because I mean, it sounds to me like you already have a very full lineup. So two questions. A, why the need to add another one? And B, what makes this one so cool or interesting? Great, Great questions, Ben. Uh, I could definitely answer those with uh, precision. All right. So, I mean, First of all, we need a new product. So, I mean, we have the Helios, the Kong out for a while, the G7s as well. Blitz has been a year, which is, actually, by the way, the Blitz has a great selling in, within a year and very, very, very almost no issues at all, which is great to hear, great to have. Um, but there's also certain applications that require a certain type of bulb, which we found that we didn't have um, available for our customers and what i mean by this is mostly dual beam reflector headlights the ones that we have the h4s the 9004s the h13s um, really when you have two circuits on one bulb i found personally that our existing lineup was giving not exactly the best results with these types of headlights um if i could Can, just go... why why exactly is it because of the size the shape or what is it exactly well, it's actually, let me show you. And by the way, we call it the Strix. The Strix is a, a name of an owl. An owl will move his head about 180 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. So it really does almost a full circle both sides. And that's exactly what this new LED bulb does, is that the, the distance, the spacing between the two diodes is so minimal compared to our previous kits that the light output is really more 360 degrees or 180 degrees on each side, you know what I mean? So this, what this does, what this permits in a dual beam reflector headlight is a much better result. The light is bouncing off where the halogen bulb was supposed to bounce off. I don't know if you understand what I mean. I um, totally know what you mean, because you're looking, if you look at it from a bird's eye view, right? You have 
LEDs on both sides of your, I don't know what that piece is called, the pole, let's call it. Okay. Um, and, you know, it, the, because the space, what you're explaining is because this, the, it's thinner space between the two diodes, you're getting a better full 360 degree exactly. dispersion, which That's gives you better reflection, which gives you better light. That's exactly it, Ben. You understood that properly. So that's really cool. I mean, it, these bulbs, not to be mistaken, they do work very well in regular single beam reflectors. They also work well in projectors as well. But it's really the, the main advantage of these bulbs is to be used in dual beam reflector headlights. Very, very cool. So that really what it what it adds to our lineup. It's Because we found, I mean, certain vehicles would give dead spots with our previous bulbs. And we really want to rectify that situation and come with a solution. And this is this is it and, and you know it, it's hard with so many different applications out there you know between reflector beams and sealed beams and this and that it's so hard to have a universal fit so i guess the more products you have in your offering the more the better job you do in covering more you know situations that exactly sense. that's exactly it yeah and by the way, if I could just uh, describe a bit the technical specs. Absolutely. Of this Let's bulb. talk about it. Let's learn about these Strix bulbs here. All right. So the Strix bulbs use the same chips as the Kong conversion kit, Philips ZES from LumaLeds, actually. Um, it's a division of Philips. And uh, it's a dual, uh, sorry, um, hydraulic fan heat dissipation system, along with the adjustable base, like all of our bulbs, always with a proper LED um, positioning within the headlight. And uh, if not an all-inclusive wiring with a smaller sized um, LED driver, which will permit installation to fit in more vehicles within the headlight um, housing itself behind the cap, if you, if you fit in there. And uh, that's basically it. This also features a lifetime warranty like the other bulbs, the Helios and the Kongs. Very, very cool. Now, 8,000 lumens. Sorry. I, I was just going to say, what is the performance of those? So how does that, Eight that if I'm not mistaken, that's... I mean, that's not as quite as bright as the Helios, though. Let me explain. Let me explain. Yeah. If you put the Helios in a reflector headlight, which works on most vehicles, you're going to create a lot of oncoming glare for the other motorists on the road. Okay. But if you if you use the Helios in a projector headlight and you compare it, I mean, ideally, you'd have the same vehicle, one with a projector, one with a reflector, both stock from the manufacturer. I mean, that does exist. Certain vehicles can have both. Um, if you put the Helios in a projector, the um, the Strix or the Kong say in a reflector headlight and you compare them side by side the result will be fairly the same really the Helios in a projector will not create oncoming glare for the other motorists while the Strix or the Kong will not as well create excessive glare for the oncoming drivers so the result will be basically the same thing that's what okay. we if you want to, if, you, if you're putting 12,000 lumens within a reflector headlight, you may be a bit more dangerous uh, compared to the almost the too bright. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. Because that's a thing. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I mean, mm -hmm. of course. I, I mean, working with car lighting district, I have a lot of experience with different uh, headlights and installations. I cross, I frequently cross people on the street, on the road, and some of them do get it right that they have aftermarket led headlights and i'm not getting blinded and then there's others that are not getting it right and i'm driving and i'm like i mean i'm blinded you know those I, are the guys that keep high beaming saying they turn off your high beams yeah. but then realize that those aren't the high beams no that's it it's their yeah. low beam yeah that's exactly yeah. exactly and, and just to be clear uh frank we're talking about lifetime warranty like you mentioned eight thousand yep. lumen performance and still that ip 67 rating as far as Absolutely. water resistance water resistance shock resistance so absolutely nothing to worry about uh in regards to stability or durability of the product plug and play same thing as the other kits i would always, imagine always plug and play yeah. and the other question i have for these in particular also compatible with your um oh my god i'm lost for words you know anti-flicker modules yes thank you absolutely yes. of course all of our products are interchangeable with our same anti-flicker modules and uh there's no problem in, regard in regards to that yeah okay very cool now you mentioned something. I'm going to circle back to it now. You said something that caught my attention at the beginning of our chat, that this new Strix lineup, so it's a whole series of bulbs, right? Yep. And, and I'm going to assume that your website, once this is launched, is going to have this information so that when you type in the application, it's going to show you what the right select or the best selection for your application is. And in, in some cases, it might be this new Strix bulb. But yep. you said something that caught my attention, and that was reverse lighting. What is that yes. all about? All right. So... I, I was trying to think of a new product that we could bring in for uh, on, in, the, in the COD lineup, and we decided to integrate it with the Strix uh, headlight bulbs and basically creating a family of products, which we 
eventually may have more and may add to the line. For now, for this season, we have the headlight bulbs and we have these high-powered LED backup bulbs, which is basically an LED conversion kit for your reverse light. It's not simply just a bulb that you connect within the same harness and within the same, uh, let's say, socket of your backup bulbs. This really converts your backup bulbs. That has a heat sink. Um, they're 3,000 lumens a pair. 3,000 lumens for a backup bulb. Well, a pair, 1,500 a pair. Each. Okay, fair enough. So pair. it's very similar to LED fog light bulbs. I mean, you're gonna, you're definitely going to increase your backing up power by like 10 to 20 times more. Before we go too far, Frank, let, let me just clarify here. So traditionally, and I've done this myself on some of my vehicles, all I've done is I've replaced the backup light bulb. Right. Which mm -hmm. is just, in my case, you know, I, I don't know the technical spec, but it had like two cones on each end. Like, a, you know what I mean? And it just yep. plopped into a socket or, or sorry, I had a one that was kind of like flat and you just pluck it out and pluck it in with a little clip. Nine, You're yeah, talking nine. about replacing this whole thing kind of like you would your, your fog well, light. Yeah, well, yes and no. Basically, okay. you're still going to use the original connector of the vehicle, okay. but you're no longer going to fit the bulb inside the connector. Okay. Most bulbs, most backup bulbs, whether they're connected to the vehicle, you have a socket with wiring, obviously, mm -hmm. and you connect the bulb into the socket. And then the socket itself connects to the headlight or the, the reverse light of the housing. In the case of these Strix high-powered LED backup bulbs, it's the bulb itself that goes into the headlight or reverse light, sorry. And you connect the connector to the socket. Oh, so the, the actual socket okay. part, the actual OEM socket part of the backup You're bulb. You're removing no that from where the car is exactly. originally positioned. Okay. Exactly. You're no longer going to fit it in. The bulb fits into the reverse light housing. Mm -hmm. And the connector goes into the socket. Gotcha. That's why I wanted clarification. Okay. So right. then you got the heat sink part here, which is not uh, obstructive in any way. It's going to fit properly in almost every vehicle. And you're really going to increase your lighting tenfold. That is exciting stuff because for those of you that back up trailers in the dark or need to reverse out of situations, especially in the dark, let's be honest, right? Factory reverse lights in They're many terrible. cases is abysmal at best. It, it, I've driven a lot of vehicles. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, I backed up at night with all these vehicles, and I've always found one thing in common: I can't see anything. Almost, I mean, it's it's a very common thing with backup lights. And also, I have to mention the advantage of high-powered backup bulbs. You're not going to back up on the street. You're not going to back up on the highway. So you're never going to blind anybody with this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was thinking you're, about that for a second. I was like, you're using it for personal use when you're backing up. I mean, the worst that could happen is you're back, backing up in a parking set, in a parking lot, and somebody sees you. I mean, it's going to be like, oh, this is bright. It looks but away. But how different it's is fine. that if you're if you're reverse parked into a spot and you turn your headlights on? It's the same well, thing, no? Exactly. Yes, yes. But what I mean is that like. Um, these really light up a lot. I mean, if you're if you're behind them and you're staring at them, okay, they're right. very, very bright. But on the street, on the road, when you're driving, you're not backing up. So it's not a problem. Nobody sees it. But when you're using it for yourself, when you're backing up, you're normally not driving very fast. You know what I mean? So people yeah. around you will see you and it's I safer think, for them as well because they'll, they'll really see you. Yeah. I think this is going to be a huge hit amongst people who tow. I think so too. I think it's going to be a big hit for people that live maybe more rural areas. Because man, I live in a rural. Area. It is pitch black. Like yep. you, you know what I mean. Like I would overkill all the lighting. And now that this type of stuff is available, that's very, very, very interesting for dealers as well. Obviously, um, Frank, I know we have a video. I think this is a good time to maybe go to it so we can learn a little bit more in depth about Strix. And when we come back, I'm sure I'll have some more questions for you. What do you think? Sounds great, Ben. Let's go right ahead. Uh, Car Lighting District is happy and proud to introduce an all new line of product. This new line of products is called the Strix, which will include LED headlight bulbs and high powered LED backup bulbs. We decided to call this new line of products based off the Strix, which is an owl. Now we all know owls see best at night and they can turn their heads almost 180 degrees, which fits perfectly with our new design of product. The Strix headlight bulbs feature 8,000 lumens, lifetime warranty, IP67 protective rating, a fan-based heatsink, 
Philips ZES LED chips, the best in the market, a small sized LED driver, all inclusive wiring and plug and play installation. The Strix LED headlight bulbs are ideal for dual beam reflector headlights, completely fixing the dead spot issue. Works great in single beam reflectors and in projectors. The Strix features an all new design which has a two millimeter neck where the LED chips lay providing almost perfect 360 degree light, mimicking its halogen counterpart. With all that I've just mentioned, I put these in my personal vehicle and let me tell you, they are amazing. The difference and beam pattern is astonishing, night and day. Now between you and me, I definitely recommend these Strix LED headlights for your vehicle. Now don't forget about the all new Strix LED backup bulbs. The Strix high-powered LED backup bulb is an all-new design that doesn't replace a previous product but is added to our offered lighting solution. These backup bulbs feature an astonishing 3000 lumen a pair, IP67 rating, shock and water resistant, a two-year warranty, a solid heat sink, an all-inclusive wiring which is plug and play and fits in almost every vehicle. In my experience of driving vehicles, which I've tried many, believe me, I've always found that the regular halogen backup bulbs featured on any vehicle was always very weak and very difficult to see when backing up even in dark and lit parking spots. The Strix LED backup bulbs is an amazing improvement to any vehicle. When using the Strix high powered LED backup bulbs, you're basically turning your backup lights as powerful as fog lights. It's extremely useful when you're backing up and you can't see anything. That problem will no longer happen. Now, and even before you ask, they're not gonna blind your rear view camera. Now, if you already have beautiful LED headlight bulbs and you're wondering what comes next, the Strix high powered LED backup bulbs is for you. These will definitely increase your driving experience. And there you have it. Car Lighting District's all new lighting solutions, the Strix. Now, if you're interested in the new Strix products, enter your vehicle information on CLDLED.com and find yours today. I don't know about you, but that that good looking handsome gentleman got me all excited about these backup lights. <laughs> <laughs> now, you mentioned something in that video that uh, I definitely want to take an opportunity here to put on the screen. Um, information, you guys, if you like what you see, if you want to get more information on this new Strix line of products, contact Car Lighting Districts. They have their website, cldled.com. Give them a call. That's probably your fastest route to become a dealer and uh, get this stuff into your shop. All right, Frank. So. Um, I watched the video. I saw that you tested it. Now, that vehicle was at a RAV4? Yes, that's my RAV4. Yeah. Okay. And talk to us a little bit about what you really noticed, in your words, when you changed the lights to these new Strix. Okay. Well, personally, the RAV4, I mean, the only uh, everything was LED on the car or almost, but the backup bulbs. I mean, I thought it was a, kind of like a, um, a weak... A weak thing from Toyota. I mean, you're, what, you're. What was the original bulb? Just the standard old. The standard 921 halogen bulb, mm -hmm. uh, kind of lighting up yellow type ish. You know, even if the reflector is white, you still kind of have like a yellow backup bulb. Kind of looked dumb compared, considering the whole vehicle was LED all over. Um, changing the bulbs on that vehicle is extremely easy for the backups. I mean, there's, I mean, absolutely nothing to it. No, no boats, no nothing. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, that was the first thing I thought of doing was using these tricks on my personal vehicle to see the difference. Um, first of all, backing up with those bulbs, the original ones, the halogens was like any other vehicle. It really wasn't 2020 or 2021 style. It was really like from the eighties, from the nineties, from the early two thousands, really no difference from regular older vehicles. When I put the Strix backup bulbs, I did one side regular, one side Strix. It was ridiculous the difference it made. Ridiculous. I mean, it was. It was okay. really. I mean, you could see in the video. I mean, the quality yeah. maybe not perfect, but it really does light up like fog lights. It floods the floor towards the ground. It floods higher up as well. So you see the trees. You see anybody passing by. You see the fences. It's it's just really night and day when you're backing up. And you said in the video, it doesn't affect the um, backup camera. Yes, the backup camera, because I was wondering if that would be overexposed with that much light. Well, exactly. I mean, obviously, I'm sure it depends on which vehicle and where the backup camera is positioned and how close the backup bulbs are. But I mean, 
the way mine is set up, the backup bubbles is pretty close to the camera. And the camera is fine. I mean, I see everything where I'm backing up. I'm not blinded in the camera. I'm not getting glare in the camera. I mean, that whole that whole experience was just great as well. Really, really cool. Now, I know that there was also um, the images of two vehicles. I'm not mistaken. Was that Fabian's vehicle that he was? Because he mentioned on an earlier session that he was the headlights. Testing a project. No, yeah. not that. Yeah. Actually, was a older nine thousand and four uh, headlight. It's uh, from a Grand Marquis. Okay, about, you know those Crown Vics, the old sure. cop cars. Sure. Yeah. That was a great way to test because uh, just a regular LED kit, a 9004, you saw the visual dead spots. Mm -hmm. It was it was very apparent. You really saw like these these holes, these V's of, of like yeah, these dark, dark spots. spots. Yeah. And you would see also the a driver's side light was shining in the trees, like in people's faces, basically, yeah. when you're yeah. crossing them on the street. And the passenger side really wasn't going into the ditch like like headlights are supposed to do, you know. I'm sure you know the passenger and the, and the driver's side headlight do not shine the same way. And this is fabricated for every for, for the same way on every vehicle. It's just the way the, the headlights are supposed to be built. And uh, if you're in Europe, it's the other way around, right? So you mm -hmm. got the mm -hmm. you, you got the other side that's yeah, shining yeah, differently. Yeah, yeah. Depends where the steering wheel is. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you got a cutoff. You know, you really do have a cutoff when you're driving, when you're supposed to shine, when you're illuminating in front of you. And I'm sure you saw with the Strix, you had that cut off perfectly. Like it was really a nice cut off. I mean, the Strix yeah. headlights in that uh, 2003 Grand Marquis shine almost the same way as my 2020 RAV4 OEM headlights. OEM factory OEM LED. Factory yeah. LED headlights. The result side by side is almost um, similar, almost the same. Very, very so, cool. I mean, that really was a, a great thing to see when I, I tested that out. I was like, wow, this is exactly what I expected, and it works. Very good. Very exciting stuff. Let's uh, let's quickly go what's in the box so that the, the guys watching know what to expect when they when they receive some of this product. All right. Well, I mean, with, as all of our conversion kits, we have the same packaging here. Um, it's very a nice and solid packaging. You have the the new and revamped user's manual, which have really every information that you need to install in any headlight, any type of a bulb number. You got pictures, you got everything here really well displayed and explained and information on the warranties as well and how to contact us if needed. Um, Dual-sided 3M tape to stick the uh, LED driver to, where, to wherever you feel it is, is a nice place to put it. And afterwards, you got obviously the LED bulbs positioned inside their foam casing here. I got to say, before you continue, I mean, I know I've said this already, but presentation has a lot to do with it. Uh, and, you know, for shops that are putting this, you know, on their shelves, in their glass cases, on their counters, it's a good looking presentation. You know, when you see Absolutely. that foam case, it's all set up. These are not $20 light bulbs, folks. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what I mean? But, you know, it counts when the whole package is there. So good job on the design team for that. Did you have a box on your right? Is that the backup lighting? Yes, these are the backup bulbs, the Strix backup bulbs. We get the we kept the same style of packaging, just miniature sized, yeah, which I think cool. is really cool. Um, also, which I have to mention, when you open the pack of the Strix backup bulbs, you have this little cardboard, and let me bring it yep. closer with a QR code. So you just scan your camera on the QR code, and then you'll have a video of how to install the bulbs if you need information. So you're gonna have a direct link to how to install these backup bulbs. Not that it's any difficult, but we just thought it was a nice uh, little add-on to put within the boxes just in case somebody had questions. And let know? me guess, it's a video of you. Uh, awesome. <laughs> I mean, you, you guessed right, Ben, you yeah. guessed right. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, so you, you got this little cardboard inside the yep. box. You got the bulbs themselves. You got these little O-rings if you need them for um, a snugger fit, depending on the on the headlight itself. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this number up again. Um, we have audiences from across Canada, obviously, but uh, you, Distributor by Tsiber pretty much covers you everywhere you are in this country. Um, you can get your hands on on, on some CLD product, Car Lighting District, CLDLED.com. Um, Whenever you have a tech question, I mean, you're looking at the guy. This is the guy that's answering them. Uh, I want to talk about your website real quick before I let you go there, Frank. You know, everything on there is so well done. You know, you can shop by vehicle. You can shop 
by series or, or not shop, but rather get information. Um, what recommendations do you have for shops uh, looking at this new Strix line? Is this like, wh where will this shine for them? <laughs> you like that? Where will this shine? I didn't think of that. <laughs> Good pun. Yeah. Um, well, we're, uh, the Strix uh, line of product, uh, headlight products is basically equivalent to the Kongs, I would say, but they really come and fix the, the dual, dual beam reflector headlight issue that we had previously with other bulbs. So, I mean, it, if, you, if ever you have any Jeep Wranglers, perfect. You know, Gladiators, perfect. Anything that has an H13 and H4, a lot of Kias have H4, Toyota Yaris's have H4. Um, anything that's dual beam reflectors, you got to go with the Strix. I mean, this is our really our go-to product for that type of headlight. Um, also for any type of reflectors, I mean, the F-150s, it works perfectly. Um, Silverados, anything like that, um, they fit perfectly in that type of vehicle as well. And uh, in terms of the backup bulbs, I mean, that is just not replaceable or it's not comparable to any other product. This is definitely something that you want on hand if you're looking to offer something else with the headlights. I mean, you got the headlights, and then you got the backup bulbs. So two more questions. I yep. promise I'll let you go. Is there fog light applications under Strix as well? So far, not yet. Not Considering yet. Considering okay. the, um, the, currently the Strix has a hydraulic fan heat dissipation system not to be used in fog lights. Gotcha. But if you guys remember what I said earlier in the presentation, the G7s will eventually go away. Maybe we'll find a place within the Strix family for the replacement. Gotcha. Um, solves a lot of problems. Uh, so my last and final question, probably maybe the most important question that I'm going to have for you, when are these products going to be available to dealers? All right. Well, so far right now we're, we're, um, we're envisioning to launch the product end of October. Uh, we're definitely going to have a, uh, a memo on the Tabera website, our exclusive distributor when the product is out. And uh, obviously on our website as well, we're going to send an, a big notification to everybody to say that yes it is out so far right now it's end of october i don't have the precise date yet but it's going to be for the but this this the fall. last week of october oh yes this fall definitely well we'll make sure we get that and uh, make sure all our viewers also know that uh through our you know social media and website channel so end of october brand new strix lineup from cld yes, hey sir. uh mr frank thank you so much for your time and your knowledge we always appreciate you having and congratulations on the launch of the new strix line Thank you very much, Ben. Thanks for having us. We're always glad to be here. All right, man. Take care. All right. Thanks a lot. You too, man. So there you have it. Dr. LED himself, Mr. Frank from the CLD Team Car Lighting District, distributed by Tsibair right across Canada. I'm going to go ahead and put up the digits one more time. If you're looking to become a dealer, there it is, cldled.com. You get all the information on the product and call the 188 number and it'll get you all set up and squared away. Brand new Strix product coming down the pipe from them. Uh, Frank saying it's going to be end of October. We'll make sure we'll keep you uh, up to date with the latest news with that because it certainly seems like some exciting stuff. I'm especially intrigued by that new backup camera conversion kit. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in to another CMA Connected presented by Sirius XM. Um, we'll be back tonight. No, not tonight. Tomorrow. We're actually going to be back again with another special episode and Friday as well. It is a busy time here at CMA, that is for sure. Um, tune in for another lunchtime learning session. Hey, I'm your host, Ben Wu. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, we connect. Mm -hmm.